Hello guys, welcome back to my channel and a new video. Today is a uh, Wednesday and I just started filming. It's now 22 one and as I said on the previous video, uh, recently I haven't been really feeling the early vibes like waking up early and starting filming. Uh, but anyway, I'm here now and I put on a beautiful outfit for you just to start filming because I thought you know, I'm going to show you several outfits today, as you guys have seen from the title. Um, today is going to be party wear, New Year's Eve, um, maybe Christmas Day, Christmas Eve uh, for you guys. So I decided to put on a beautiful outfit straight away and get filming. So that's what I did. I'm wearing this um, stunning, beautiful blouse. This blouse is quite old. Uh, I don't know if you guys know it, but um, I have it for several years now. And if you're one of my first subscribers, you probably know it. It's stunning. I got this in ASOS and to be fair with you, I don't remember the brand, but I'll try and, and check it after um, the video. I'll check it and I'll try to link it down below. If it's still available, which I don't think it is, but uh, if it's not, I'll just find something very similar on ASOS. Same type of price and I'll link it below for you guys. Anyway, I'm wearing this beautiful blouse and I'm wearing a pair of trousers from Zara and shoes, but I'll show you everything in a minute. Um, the makeup is what you're seeing now. I'm wearing a beautiful eyeshadow from my latest Dior palette that I've shown you. The one I got in Dubai, I don't know if you remember. But yeah, the colors are really beautiful. I'm just wearing a light brown shade that I really love and the lipstick is my usual Maybelline lipstick and this is the look. I'm also wearing, I'm sorry, the, the phone is ringing of course. Um, I'm also wearing a different, I'm just gonna take the sound off, I think this is just like marketing stuff. Um, I'm wearing a new concealer from Dior which first time wearing, uh, first time I'm wearing it and I really like it although I'm not sure, I'm gonna see how the day goes and then I'll let you know. Anyway, today, like I said, I have several beautiful outfits to show you. And I also thought that maybe we could finally do the Q&A. Um, you guys have been amazing and you sent me lots of different questions. So um, obviously I'm not gonna be able to answer everything in this video because I want to show you the outfits as well. So it's gonna be a long video anyway. But um, I'm gonna do a little bit of a Q&A towards the end of the video after I've shown you the outfits and that's the plan of attack for today um, if you haven't already guys do please subscribe uh, we are now up to 600 and something followers but it would be amazing if you guys could subscribe if you like the content here and uh, it just helps me grow it's completely free the subscription you don't have to pay for it you can unsubscribe anytime you want and uh, it's just it just helps me out so much with YouTube and it would be amazing to be able to continue to film for you guys but yeah for those of you who already are subscribed thank you so much i really appreciate every single one of you and you guys know that and uh, yeah without further ado let's hop into the first look um party wear for this season okay everyone so this is the look i'm wearing today it's actually the first look i wanted to show you as you can see it's a black and white outfit with a stunning blouse this blouse is so beautiful i love the bow i love the lace look at the sleeves so dramatic and absolutely party wear with all of these beautiful details the ruffle the rhinestones so stunning and because it's black and white it's very classic and i think it works really well with a pair of black white leg trousers which uh, is what i'm wearing today these ones are from zara you guys have seen them before uh, they're wide leg uh, zara always does this type of trousers and i really love them this would be a stunning look for a uh, New Year's Eve if you guys don't like to go sequins, you don't like to go uh, all over the top glam, metallics, anything like that and you just want to look stylish, beautiful, chic and in a, a party vibe and I think this is absolutely party vibe, it's so beautiful, I mean it, it really works for me. Um, if you add the red lipstick obviously it's even more party vibes but you do your own makeup a little bit maybe of eyeshadow instead of the red lipstick like a glittery eyeshadow would look beautiful on this because the look itself it's quite simple and uh, I wouldn't say understated because this blouse is loads of drama but guys 
I mean, you can always do a, a glittery eyeshadow. I think it would look really, really pretty. Uh, the belt is Gucci, my old Gucci, and my uh, shoes are Sling Bags by Jimmy Choo. Uh, these are actually really stunning. They are pointed toe, which looks really good with a wide leg trouser. And then the heel is quite uh, small, so it's not a kitten heel, just a bit slighter, slightly uh, higher, but super comfortable for um, a night out if you guys are going somewhere and uh, you're doing New Year's Eve and you just want to look really, really pretty. And um, yeah, I think this, this shoes works really well with wide leg trousers. And yeah, this would be uh, the first look. I really, really love it. Obviously, uh, it's, it's still winter, so you'd need a blazer. So I'm just gonna grab that and I'll show you how the final look would look like. Okay, everyone, so for blazer, I got this old blazer. Uh, this is by Tessa. The lapels are satin and also the buttons are satin, if, I, if I'm if i not mistaken. Yeah, they are satin. And obviously the satin is another fabric that is very party wear, uh, very chic vibes. And I think it works really well for a more like party wear look. And then I added my beautiful lady mini, mini Dior. Um, mini Lady Dior uh, in black just to keep up with the colors of the look and this would be the whole look guys um, I didn't go for too much jewelry on this because again this is a look I would wear um, for a simple um, not simple but the more elegant uh, maybe uh, I don't want to say older because you know you can wear this if you're younger but um, you know what I mean if you want to look professional beautiful still stylish and absolutely stunning and glam and party wear absolutely gorgeous and then the earrings are my uh, Swarovski little black studs with spikes they are so beautiful it's a black earring you can wear a stud even a silver stud to go with the silver details on the on the bag and to go with the belt and all of that I mean this is so beautiful and I would totally wear this for New Year's Eve or for a party maybe not for Christmas Eve because it's a bit a bit too professional but you guys do you you wear whatever you'd like and I really love this okay everyone so for look number two I left the same white leg trousers from Zara because I think these are so beautiful and they are a bit more, you know, party wear than a jean. Obviously a jean is not party wear. Or um, leather trousers. Although leather trousers, you can totally wear leather trousers for party wear. But I mean, it's a black white leg trousers, so classic. And I put on this beautiful, beautiful sequin top with feathers at the waist. I took out the belt because I don't think the belt helps out a lot. This is a sleeveless, uh, beautiful top uh, in black with sequins. And I think it really works uh, on this look. I left the same shoes. But of course, you guys can do a high heel. This is a very glamorous look, beautiful. You can wear the same bag. Um, I think it works well with this bag. This is a, a look I would definitely wear for New Year's Eve uh, if I was going to a party. I know it's all black and some of you might not like the whole black vibes, but I do. I think it works really well on New Year's. It's, it's beautiful, it's glam. Uh, you have a little bit of a fun detail with all of the feathers and the sequins. And again, the sequins are very over the top. I, I know some of you might not like sequins, but I mean, it's New Year's. It's the time of the of, of the year to wear sequins and it looks a little bit more, you know, um, party than just a regular blouse like the previous look. If you guys like your sequins, this would be a beautiful uh, yet very chic and classic look. I think it works really, really beautiful and I would probably wear the same blazer as earlier, the one with the satin, but you guys can always wear um, any other and obviously at the part you take out your blazer, your jacket, your coat, everything and you just wear the, the beautiful, you know, glam piece with the beautiful, elegant and more business-like trousers. But I think this look is such a beautiful vibe. I don't know what you guys think, but I really love it. It's just one of those that it's so easy and it works so well. 
Okay, look number three is one maybe of my favorites or maybe my favorite guys. So this is a full uh, velvet, black velvet suit with a little bit of a sparkle here in the in the neckline. So the beautiful blazer, it's like this it's very soft uh, velvet, not very thick as you can see. Uh, blazer, this is from Zara. This was actually a piece from last year's uh, New Year's collection and I paired it with velvet leggings with a bit of a wide um, leg at the bottoms. So these are like uh, stunning um, bell-shaped leggings. They are super beautiful and they're high-waisted and I think they work perfectly with this jacket. They are not from the same collection, they are from different collections. But guys, you can find a million versions of these everywhere, like H&M, uh, Zara, and if it's black velvet, it will work beautifully like a suit, as you guys can see. And then underneath that, I'm wearing just my simple um, strappy top from Reese, but you can wear any uh, black strappy top and the beautiful uh, stunning necklace this one is by oh guys i can't remember the brands today but i'll like i said i'll try and link very similar items down below or the same ones but any uh, rhinestone uh, necklace would look amazing here i didn't put any earrings because i think the necklace is enough but to finish off the look i selected this beautiful bucket bag just to give it a touch of a more fun vibe than just being a suit and i think I think it works really well, especially if you do it crossbody. So the sequins um, here, sorry, the rhinestones here match the rhinestones in the bag and this looks so fabulous. I mean, I love this look, absolutely love it. And I think this for New Year's, again, if you want to go with trousers, if you want to do a suit, if you don't feel like wearing a dress, you don't you don't feel comfortable for a dress, you want to cover up a little bit, this works so well everyone, so well. Look at this bag, how beautiful. And uh, again, you look stylish, you look chic, uh, velvet is a very party vibe uh, material. I think, I think this look is just chef's kiss, honestly. And again, you can do a little bit of a more fun detail with the makeup, with the red lipstick or any other a uh, nice uh, eyeshadow, like I said, or maybe eye uh, shadow art, uh, something a little bit more, um, I don't know, a bit more edgy, just because it's New Year's, you can wear whatever you want. And again, this would be stunning for New Year's. My shoes, I don't know if you can see from there, are actually the ankle boots from Zara that I wore the other day and uh, I think it, they work really well here um, although you could wear any other type of uh, strappy heels, uh, strappy sandals anything like that even with a bit of rhinestones if you feel like adding more rhinestones to the look but I really really love this and I, f I like that the jacket is a bit longer um, so that you feel a bit more covered if you don't want to uh, show your uh, <laughs> rear end or anything like that uh, I know they're leggings, but obviously you can't really see much because the jacket is quite long. So uh, it works really well um, to let me know what you think about number three. Okay, guys, like I told you, uh, this video is about ideas for New Year's and for party wear. So I thought about, you know, picking different types of pieces and uh, pieces that people don't usually go to at this time of the year. Usually people like to wear uh, a dress or a mini dress or something with the sequins or anything like that. So I thought, let's do it differently this time and just put out together uh, outfits that look party wear, that look New Year's, that look, you know, happy and celebrating, but still they are a bit different. And do forgive me if you guys think that these are a bit too black. You could always take out ideas and change the colors of the outfits, but this one is one that I really wanted to show you with a mini skirt. And uh, I, I'm just going to show you because I think it's so beautiful. So guys, I picked out this beautiful old... Um, this is a sequin skirt, but the sequins are quite different. I don't know if you can see from there, but they are quite 
different. They're a bit longer, a bit different. It's a black sequin skirt, a mini one that I have for a very long time from Stefanel and I paired it with a silk blouse, a stunning color. This is like an ecru beige color. This blouse is by Lily Silk and you know silk always looks very uh, party wear, very glamorous, luxurious and I think with the sequins it works really really well and guys I decided to do it up because I think it looks so cute a bit like schoolgirl vibes and I think it really works because of the contrast with the sequins and then I added my uh, new off-white blazer just because it's structured my beautiful uh, mini lady Dior and then for shoes I'm wearing uh, the ankle boots from Zara, the ones with sequins, I think they work really well with skirt but again you could do this outfit with uh, high heels, strappy sandals, anything like that would, would work really well and of course you can change the colors as well, you can go for a colored um, skirt and then just add maybe a little bit of black, a bit of white but I think this look for New Year's is a very different one, it's very pretty, sophisticated, cute, I mean this is love it and uh, I know that until now I've only shown you black and white outfits and some of them completely black but I have some color coming now and don't worry I will show you other outfits that are a bit more casual uh, if these vibes are a bit too much for you for New Year's and I will also show you uh, some of them that are a bit more glamorous like a full dress, sequin dress which is probably the next one I'm gonna show you and um, yeah to let me know what you think Okay guys, so for outfit number five, I went with the classic, so I chose this beautiful dress full of sequins, but the sequins are quite small, so I think it makes it a little bit more elevated. Then I picked up this beautiful spike um, silver clutch, just because it's silver and goes with the dress. Uh, my earrings are Swarovski, um, I think it matches well the, the beautiful crystal with the sequins and with the silver. And then for shoes I picked up my very old trusty Bruch uh, Ted Baker uh, shoes. And I think this is a classic look for New Year's, a little bit of glitz and glamour, a silver dress with sequins, I mean it works well always, I don't need a big chunky necklace, just a little bit of earrings, a beautiful clutch and then the shoes are these gorgeous ones, but any silver shoe would work well here guys. And uh, yeah, I think this is a winner. Um, I really like the boxy shape of the dress, as you guys know, uh, if you remember my last uh, dress purchase was actually an All Saints, uh, basically the same size uh, but with a dog's tooth uh, print and that one was the same shape, very uh, straight, nothing too, um, too much and I think I really like the, the sleeves because it makes it a bit more elevated, not just a strappy dress, you know what I mean? So works really well for a uh, New Year's Eve obviously or any party you have meanwhile and I really love this one. Okay everyone so for the next outfit I wanted to choose something that you could wear if you want to feel comfortable and you don't want to make too much effort so I decided to put on this uh, stunning Cardi from Biba. Look at these details I mean this is enough to be party wear, to be festive, to be, you know, these kinds of vibes. Uh, underneath I'm just wearing my Reese top and you can wear any other. And then I put on this pair of very old shorts from Maj. Uh, I think they work so well here and they make the look also more casual. Although you're wearing just a knit uh, cardi, uh, all of these elements are still a little bit you know, uh, festive and over the top, so if you want to cut it down a little bit, just add a pair of shorts. I put on some tights and to finish finish off the look, I'm wearing also these stunning kitten heels um, sling bags from uh, McQueen that I got at the Vister Village. I'm going to show you because they're so gorgeous. Look at that, how beautiful. Obviously, you can change these ones for a pair of trainers, a flats, a pair of, you know, just, just brogues or anything like you feel comfortable in. Uh, some boots, black boots would look really stunning here. But yeah, this would be a perfect look to stay home uh, for New Year's, but still feel that you look, you know, put together, festive, um, with a little bit of a glam touch. And again, I left the same earrings because to be fair, I forgot to change them, but they work, I think. So um, 
yeah this would be the look and I think this is a very cute one to stay at home um, or even if you want to go out but you don't want to go too over the top with a long dress or a sequin dress or anything like that this looks so pretty obviously with the coat on top and then you get to where you want to be maybe friend's house you're just going for drinks or you're just going to the pub or something like that but um, a beautiful card like this with a little bit of a festive detail always works for New Year's and I think you would look really really cute obviously this can be adapted uh, to be different colors to not be all black like I, I really like but yeah guys this would be the look okay everyone so for the final look I wanted to show you this beautiful beautiful dress again this is a more obvious uh, choice for New Year's Eve or for any party you guys have but it's so beautiful I got this uh, I would say two years ago this was a H&M and the Vampire's Wife collaboration and I just got this dress in that collaboration I like that it's a mini dress so you guys you know can can just pick up a dress similar to this short dress again my silver clutch the same earrings and then I kept um, the beautiful uh, tights and the shoes are my Alexander McQueen again and I really love this look I think it works and it's so pretty and I just love it I don't know what you guys think but I feel so pretty in this and I just wanted to show you another dress because obviously you know um, this uh, video has been a little bit more inspo for different types of outfits not as obvious and um, yeah I think I need to buy a few dresses for New Year's to be, to be fair, not for this one, but maybe to have in stock for other years. Although I don't really tend to, to go anywhere to celebrate and go to parties or anything like that. I usually stay home and to be honest with you, I already wore this dress to stay home uh, once and we just celebrated me and João and it was really nice. And yeah, this is another option I wanted to show you. Okay everyone, so those were the looks I wanted to show you today. I know it wasn't a massive amount of looks, but I just wanted to give you some ideas for New Year's, either if you're staying home or if you're going to a party with your friends or if you're going to a very glamorous event. Yeah, I just give you a few ideas on what you could possibly wear and I don't know, maybe you guys already have everything planned for New Year's but I don't, I haven't selected my outfit yet so I thought it was interesting to show you. This video is gonna go up on the uh, 24 of December, so on Christmas Eve, so I thought maybe it's interesting to show you. Anyway, um, continuing the video for today, I have the Q&A to answer you guys. So I selected around eight questions because I think these were the most important ones, maybe the most interesting, the ones from those subscribers that I know that have been here a while and I really wanted to, you know, tell you what you want to know and all of that. I wrote all of the questions in my diary. And um, I've been asking on Instagram what you guys want to know about me and uh, hopefully we'll have time uh, before the, the battery um, switches off because we've been filming here for a while so hopefully we'll have time. So uh, the first question is uh, what do you want for Christmas? So <laughs> this one I actually been thinking a while I'm probably not gonna get it and if I would, I'll probably get it myself. And uh, what I want is a pair of hoop earrings from Louis Vuitton. They are the large ones, I don't know if you guys know. The large ones with the LV. And those are called, I wrote it down, the Louise Hoop GM earrings, guys. I love those earrings. Um, I mean, they're just so beautiful. If I can find a photo, I'll insert it here for you guys to, uh, to see. But yeah, if, if I would get... Uh, to choose my Christmas present this year, I would I would definitely want those earrings because I saw them in Marbella this year when we were there for our wedding anniversary and I really, really wanted to get them and I didn't. This because uh, the ones they had were the pair that was on display in the mannequin and they were a bit, they were not perfect. So I thought I'm not gonna spend the cost 495 pounds. So I'm not gonna spend um, that amount of money uh, on a pair of earrings that are not perfect. 
Uh, but to be honest with you, I went online yesterday and I went to Louis Vuitton website and I checked. And they actually take two weeks to be uh, sent, two to four weeks to be sent to you, which I don't know why. They say on the website that it's because they are uh, specifically done in, in Paris, I don't know. Uh, so they take two to four weeks to be, to be sent to you, which is a long time, especially like we are in Christmas time. Anyway, that would be what I would get for Christmas if I could. Um, but I haven't told drawn this or anything, so I don't think I'm gonna get it or, you know. Um, another question, uh, what were your teenage years like? Oh guys, I could be here for an hour talking about my teenage years. My teenage years were really strange. So, this would probably make more sense if I would tell you about my upbringing first. Uh, but I'll tell you about my teenage years and you guys, then I'll, I'll tell you about the rest. So, when I went to high school, um, it was a massive uh, thing in our family because uh, this school was really hard to get into and you had to have a certain amou uh, amount of grades, like good grades, to get into this school. So when I did, uh, it was like everyone was super happy. Uh, my brother went to the same school, he's older than me, so when he went, we also had like a, a special lunch and all of that. So it was really a hard school to get into and I was always a good student uh, in school. I always had like the maximum grade or very close. The only you know, like area I wasn't really good at was maths, so I'm not really good at maths, but all the others I was like acing everything. And uh, I went to that school, uh, which was in my hometown, Coimbra, in Portugal, and um, I was very like... Uh, my style was very like black, dark colors, a little bit gothic -y, if I can say so, uh, like black lipstick even. So my colleagues from my, from my class, they weren't like that, they were very like uh, well-behaved kids. I was well-behaved, but you know what I mean? Like um, from very good families with money and all of that, and we weren't really that. So I don't, I don't come from an affluent upbringing at all. Uh, we were, our family was, um, I would say underprivileged so we didn't really have money at all so when I went to that school where the kids had I my style was completely different I didn't have like brand clothes anything like that so and I liked different clothes as well so it wasn't easy to be fair with you I didn't have many friends in the first and the second year and in in high school in in Portugal it's three years of, um, of high school so the first Maybe the first and half and the first half of the second, I wasn't very popular at all. I had just a few friends, two, three friends, and um, yeah, um, I wasn't with the cool kids, if you say so. I wasn't really invited to parties. I'm I'm a very shy person, so I wasn't really. But on the second year, the second part of second year, I made friends. Um, that's the time actually when you have to pick your area and I, I chose art. I studied art in university, that, in university, that's another thing for you guys to know. So uh, I went to this uh, specific class where there were kids that enjoyed art as well and uh, I thrived guys. So those were my, 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 my tribe and I made lots of friends there and uh, they also dressed like me, like with black and you know, like more like um, underground vibes and all of that. We will all listen to this underground music, all of that. So it was uh, when my life in, in my teenage years started to be a bit, a bit different. So I went from being a very quiet and very like shy and no friends to having lots of friends and, you know, wanted to go out and, and being, I would say, popular, all of that. And I made friends with the most cool kids at school and from then on until the last year, the third one, everything went went really nice. Like if you if you're focusing on teenage years and all of that, I was still a very good student. I never I never stopped being. But yeah, my teenage years were a bit strange, so I started to be like a very shy, closed off girl and then uh, I went to be uh, very like comfortable in my skin and all of that. Although I've always been shy, as you guys can see probably. Um, yeah, I think that that answers my um, this question. Uh, moving on, because I don't want to be a long time, guys, here. Um, 
if you're invited to, uh, to spend the day behind the scenes of a designer brand, which and why? This is a very good question. And I thought about this before doing the video because it's a really, really good question. And I would say probably Chanel. I would, I would pick Chanel. Although I don't have any clothing from Chanel. I only have like vintage shoes and yeah, that's it. And in my bags. But uh, yeah, I would, I would pick Chanel because I love how the fabrics on um, their collections are made, like the tweeds and the beautiful uh, haute couture. And I would love to spend the day behind the scenes checking how they, they do those beautiful embroideries, the pearls, the jewelry. Guys, I, I would love to, to see that and to be like a fly on the wall and just watch how they do those wonderful garments. I mean, you know Chanel, all of the tweeds and the beautiful blazers that are so well constructed and it would be a dream, to be fair. It would be a dream and I would probably choose uh, Chanel. That's, that's, I think, what I would do. Uh, next question, guys. What is your dream holiday? <laughs> okay, my dream holiday is... Um, the French Polynesia, which is uh, Hawaii. So I would love to go to Hawaii. Uh, I've seen pictures of the Hawaii guys, of the, of the islands, and it looks so, so amazing. It's like a paradise, I would say. And uh, yeah, that would be my dream holiday. Uh, probably followed by the Maldives that I've never been. And then probably New York City, um, the USA. I mean, I would love to go to the USA. It's just one of those dreams that hopefully I can still do. Um, and also Africa, I would look, love to go to Africa to do like a safari. I love Africa, I think it's it's absolutely magnificent and the nature and the animals. But my top one would probably be French Polynesia, um, Hawaii. Yeah, I would love to go to Hawaii. However, it's so expensive, so expensive, it's just crazy. Anyway, uh, yeah, that would be my dream holiday. Uh, next question. Uh, how was your upbringing, moving to another country, etc.? Oh, guys, this is another question, like my teenage years, that I, I would need, like, a full video for this. But I'll, I'll give you a little bit. Um, my upbringing. So, like I said before, we were not affluent. My family wasn't affluent at all. Uh, my dad... Um, uh, when he married my mom, uh, my mom didn't have a job, and she didn't even... she. She just finished uh, high school. She didn't go to university or anything like that. And my dad also, uh, when uh, he had us, he already had been, uh, he, he did high school and he had been in the military service in in, in the colonies. So Portugal has had colonies and uh, my, my dad went to, to war uh, in the colonies. So when he came back, he had me and my brother and he got a job, but it wasn't a very well-paid job. And at the same time, he was uh, studying in university to be an engineer, a civil engineer. So our money was nothing. We, we really, really, really struggled until, I would say, until I was in my second year on high school. So that helped with, you know, getting... Um, cooler clothes and all of that because we didn't really have money but to be fair even then um, maybe I would say that my parents got to a more stable like monetary position when I was first years of university that's a bit more more fair and yeah we didn't have any money at all and I don't I don't really know how to describe it to you guys but uh, in one of the first homes I so when I was really little, we lived in a council estate, so in, in a flat given by the council because we didn't have money. And then we moved to the city where I went to high school, Coimbra. And that city we uh, rented, um, sorry, we were living in a house given by my uh, dad's employer. Also, uh, the rent was nothing, it was like, a, it was a house with the garden, but at the same time, it was a place where they did some um, construction, so it wasn't like a beautiful property, anything like that. So 
uh, the rent they paid was really low and that was to help my dad and my mom and then after that house when I was in in high school we moved to a flat of our own so then my parents bought the flat but this was in a very rough area of my city and it wasn't very uh, it wasn't you know, it was it was a poor house. Let's let's just say it like it is a poor house. So uh, basically, uh, I've, I've always I, when I was in in uh, prep school, I didn't really had any um, special clothes or any brands at all. Uh, we were making ends meet, and uh, I didn't even had like colored pencils or anything like that. Uh, we were being helped by the state, so it was it wasn't really <laughs> it wasn't really. Um, you know, um, easy at all. And I remember that my parents only bought uh, butter for bread. We didn't have ham, we didn't have jam, anything like that. And when we started buying those things, I, I understood, okay, now we have more money. So now we have money to buy ham uh, for the sandwiches and we can, you know, uh, yeah. So I, I can tell you that the first time I went uh, with my parents for like uh, go to the cinema or restaurant. I was already in 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 um, last year of high school, and that's when we could finally afford a little bit more. That's when my dad finished his um, um, university degree and all of that. So my upbringing was hard. I I struggled really hard before the high school, so in prep school, because my classmates were were more uh, privileged than me and they didn't really understand that why I didn't had I had nice clothes or jeans or um, why did I walk from from school to my home and my parents didn't pick me up in a car all of that so it was it was really hard and uh, but you know it made me really valued money and and stuff and and value what's important which is your family your friends and you know and um, money is just money and it's nice to have it but it's not the most important thing and then I went to university and uh, I loved university. I studied art and it was really, really nice. And uh, yeah, I did my degree. I started uh, my first job, which was a teacher. I, I teach secondary school, so that's another info for you guys. Uh, and I teach art and geometry and it was, it was really lovely. And then I started getting my money. And um, yeah, after a few years um, teaching, I met Joao, we got married. And then moving to another country, that's where I want to I want to get in. But this is a really long story that if you want, I can I can speak more about. Um, yeah, I was a teacher and Juan was, uh, his job is, uh, is an IT. But uh, in Portugal, the wages were really, really low. So we decided, Juan decided, okay, I want to try and go abroad to get better wages. And uh, he was getting offers from abroad because he's an IT and they always need ITs, especially when, when at that time. And uh, yeah, that's what made us come come to another country. So originally, I went to Italy, and um, yeah, I started a different job. I started being a flight attendant in Italy, and my first year there was 2010. 2009, 2010, something like that. To be honest, I don't remember. And um, yeah. And then from then on, we moved to the UK and uh, now I'm still a flight attendant. I'm not a teacher anymore, but yeah, um, that was uh, my upbringing. And if you guys want to know exactly uh, how we manage our finances, all of that, I can do a different video because it will take ages explaining to you guys. But yeah, I hope that answers the question of this of this person and yeah. Uh, next question, what languages do you do speak? I speak Portuguese, which is my uh, home language where I was born. I speak English, as you guys obviously know. I speak Italian because I worked in Italy for almost four years and I learned it at, on the job. So I was a flight attendant and I didn't speak a word of Italian, but I learned it, guys, I had to. And it's a Latin language. It, was, it wasn't it was that hard. It was hard, but it wasn't crazy hard. And I also speak a little bit of Spanish because Spanish is very similar to Portuguese. So all Portuguese people can can speak Spanish. So I do, I do speak Spanish and I can get away with a little bit of French, um, but it's not perfect French. To be fair, if I would need to, I would probably be able to be, to be fluent, but because I don't practice, I don't have many French friends, it's, it's harder, but yeah, those are the languages I speak. Um, 
how do you budget for shopping oh this is a very 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 long answer guys and uh, basically uh, me and Joan we do like you know the excel um, sheets we do an excel sheet and we write down every single thing uh, money that gets in and that gets out every month and then we budget like like that so we budget for clothes we budget for food we budget for uh, house bills we budget for uh, uh, paying our home and the cars and all of that so we have everything everything very um, very detailed in those spreadsheets so we can control how much money uh, we have towards the end of the month and all of that but this is another one of those questions that I would probably need to do a full video or at least a Q&A video and tell you about it because it's very uh, it's complicated to, to do quickly um, the next one which is going to be the last one guys uh, do you have many sisters and brothers? I do have only one brother. His name is Bruno and he's one year older than me. He has two kids, Beatrice and Miguel. Beatrice is 17 uh, year old and uh, Miguel is 12 and they are the loves of my life as well. So yeah, I only have one brother. He still lives in Portugal. Um, he's married and he's a year older than me and he's, we are very close. And he comes here to the UK to visit a lot with my niece and nephew, which are my two loves of my life. And uh, yeah, and guys, this was the last question, eight questions. I don't really have time for more because I think the camera is going to die any minute now. And I'm actually surprised it hasn't yet. But uh, I really hope this answered your uh, your questions. If you have more, do let me know and I'll try and insert them in, in another video. Or if I didn't answer enough, like... Uh, how do I budget and all of that if you guys want to do uh, a video on that like just a Q&A I can definitely do it and give you more detail uh, on my life uh, if you are interested but uh, yeah thank you so much for watching I hope you liked the video I really enjoyed speaking to you today if you haven't already please 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 subscribe it, make, it helps me a lot and it would be it would make a massive difference so that we can reach those a thousand followers and you know it, it does really help me here on, on, on YouTube and give a thumbs up to this video if you enjoyed it I'll see you here uh, you know Sunday at 7 p.m. as usual until then I love you so much and I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.